So after a really unsuccessful first round, Tiago Moises was put in a position where it was pretty clear that he wasn't going to win this fight on the feet. If he wanted to win the fight, he was going to have to bring it to the ground. His corner told him as much. And so immediately starting the second round, he shot in on a double. Uh, Johnson was able to avoid the double. Moises was able to just barely hang on to a single leg, uh, come up and get a finish. So I'll show the finish first right now. And then I'll recap exactly how Moises set it up, uh, how he was able to get the finish, and then what Michael Johnson did incorrectly that led to the finish happening. It was officially ruled an, a heel hook. It's not actually a heel hook, as you can see here. This is a straight ankle grip uh, rather than the heel hook grip where he would be hooking underneath the heel. Obviously, is what makes it a heel hook. Um, but there's your tap. Okay, so we're going to go back to the start and look at exactly how Moises set this thing up. Uh, so it starts off here, like I mentioned before, he started off shooting in on a double leg. Johnson was fa or he was facing out this way, uh, facing out towards the ref, sort of not not exactly directly at the ref, but in that direction. Uh, so as he sort of pivots pivots off to the side, Moises doesn't really have a whole lot of control on this double leg here, so he's going to switch to a single leg, uh, snatches that, comes back in. He's going to come up on this single, and at this point, I think he feels like, look, yes, you can finish the single leg, but I don't know that he was super confident in his ability to do so. And with that being said this isn't wrestling where if your back goes to the mat, you lose like you can pull guard and either look for attacks off your back or look to use an attack to sweep. Like we saw with Damian Maya against Ben Askren. It's not as though Askren pulled on, or it's not as though Maya pulled on Askren, but when Askren got on top, Maya was able to use a, a leg attack to, to come up on top of a sweep. And then once he was on top, he was able to finish. I think that's what Moises was going for in this case, but Michael Johnson did not do a very good job at all of defending the leg attack. And so Moises was just able to get the finish off of that instead. All right. So here he pulls. At this point, for Moises, this isn't an ideal spot to be, even in a jiu-jitsu match, but especially in MMA, where punches can happen. Because the downside of having this footlock grip is that if you're not able to actively attack this leg, your left arm is being taken up by the leg here. You have nothing to block Michael Johnson's right hand, so you're in a dangerous spot to be punched. Uh, ideally, if you're going to be attacking legs in MMA, you're going to have some control of the hips, or at least some control of posture, where you can manipulate that and keep them from attacking you. So if you have like the foot on the hip, you can kind of kick away as they're starting to punch uh, to keep them out of reach. Um, or if you're able to kind of pull them in, although ideally you want to extend out on a leg attack, but you could, you, you could also do that. Um, but in this case, he's sort of in between. For Johnson, his top priority should just be clearing his leg. Um, it's not as though Moises has a great grip on it right now. He sort of has a butterfly hook in here, but isn't doing a whole lot with his left leg. Um, but Johnson's really not going to put a whole lot of focus on it. Now, at this point, Johnson's actually doing a pretty good thing here. Because this is the straight ankle lock grip, you want to have your foot flat on the mat. Uh, one of the reasons why you want to have your foot flat on the mat is because someone cannot finish a straight ankle lock if your foot is flat on the mat. If you think about how a straight ankle lock works, they're just extending the foot straight out. Uh, so if you kind of flex your foot straight where it's like at a 90 degree angle with your shin uh, and then try to straighten it out, you'll notice that your foot's not going to go a full 180 degrees. The idea of the straight ankle lock is that you're pulling the foot in that direction. And for it to go there, it's obviously going to start popping tendons. Uh, but if the foot's on the mat, you, you can't do that kind of extension because there's nowhere for the foot to go because it's just hitting into the ground. So to avoid a straight ankle lock, this is good, but also you, you want to keep a lot of weight on this foot as well, especially if you're going to drive in um, to get out of the position. Again, Moises doesn't have a ton of control on the hip. He kind of has this butterfly hook here, but the left leg isn't doing anything just yet. Uh, Moises is trying to push away. I think the reason for Moises is pushing away is that it looks like Michael Johnson might be trying to throw a punch here. So if you can push away, you would hope that if your arm is long enough that you can keep Johnson from being able to hit you. Or at least you can kind of back your head away at the last second. So Johnson throws the punch and it actually does land here. So again, Moises is not in the best position here. Uh, sort of reacting to a punch. Uh, butterfly hook still in place. The left hook isn't really doing a whole lot. So again, Johnson, you kind of want to drive your foot down on the mat and drive through here, especially since this leg isn't set up yet. If, if you can use this right elbow, get it inside of the knee, and then just push that down, you can just kind of drive through. Uh, sort of look into... Since there's a butterfly hook, it wouldn't exactly be half guard. It'd sort of be like a like a single butterfly hook guard. But from there, you can kind of spall your hips back, um, get your leg out of there. And then from there, you can still throw some punches in, a, in an MMA context. But again, having that foot on the ground is a valuable thing, at least until you do that. And not only is Michael Johnson not going to try to pass this knee down or at least like get his elbow inside, he's going to allow Moises to uh, mess around with this foot as well. Uh, let me get that out of the way. So we continue. All right, so there's a bit of an error there. Let me continue. So again, the foot's off the mat here. Johnson wants it to be on the ground, especially if he's driving through. But again, you want to have that right elbow inside so you can push the knee down. Uh, it doesn't really do either here. So we continue. Again, he's sort of facing away, which really 
it, it's sort of a confusing move for him. I'm not exactly sure what he's thinking of doing. I, I guess one idea would be that he tries to bail out, but the fence is in the way. Uh, but even then, there, there is space for him if he wanted to just kind of bail out and see if Moises could hang on tight enough to control him. But since he wasn't doing that, it was just kind of confusing what Michael Johnson was trying to accomplish here. All right. Now, at this point, he starts grabbing the fence. Usually when people grab the fence, you assume they're cheating. In this case, he's actually not doing himself any favors by grabbing the fence. Um, so, yes, it's illegal to grab the fence, and Keith Peterson, the ref, was right to, to stop him from doing that eventually. But it's not as though this was all that useful for him. And, and again, at this point, um, Johnson's starting to give Moises an angle on his leg. But again, you have the butterfly hook in there. Um, this isn't a single leg X hook. Uh, this butterfly hook, as long as you stay heavy on it, he's not going to be able to transition to 50-50 easily. He's going to have to at least make an explosive move to do that to create the space. Uh, and your hip isn't being reaped just yet. But again, this right arm, if you want to punch with it, okay. If you want to control the inside of this knee, okay. If you're doing neither, that that's not going to be able to do a whole lot to improve position for you in the long term. So they continue on. Now at this point, Mo Moises starts to get his foot across. At this point, he sort of has like a bit of a single leg X type of position here. Uh, so he's got the butterfly hook with the right leg. Uh, and then it's over the top of the, with the left. At this point, there are there are foot locks, although usually you're going to have to tip a guy over to, to go for them. Um, but it, this is also a decent position to sweep from. You can also try to extend the guy up, and then once you get space underneath his hips, you can then go into X guard um, by swinging this hook inside. But at this point, Johnson's in a lot worse of a position than he was prior. Uh, so at this point, it's especially important for him to use this elbow inside the knee, push that leg out, and clear that leg. Again, Michael Johnson not really doing anything with his left arm here with his right arm at this point, punching isn't all that useful anymore because Moises has his foot on the hip um, by having the foot on the hip. Anytime Johnson wants to punch Moises can extend him out. Uh, so at this point you really got to clear that leg. And again, Johnson, as you can tell, isn't really trying to clear the leg. And I guess Moises at this point is like, okay, well, if he's not going to do anything about this leg, I can probably just shoot it through and get an outside reap on it. And there it is. So now he has his reap. From this point, a very big detail in how he's able to get the finish here, and part of the reason why I'm not straight up saying it's a straight ankle lock, although it kind of looks like it is, it's definitely a straight ankle lock grip. He's going to realize that once Johnson's going to bail out, Johnson's going to try to turn, or he's going to try to spin through and spin his way out of this. So he's going to transition this hook right here on the right leg to hook the back of Johnson's knee so Johnson can't spin, and you're going to see that soon. All right, you can kind of see that foot come through there. Again, you still have that straight ankle lock grip. Uh, but you have that outside reap, which is a very powerful position, especially attacking legs. Again, at this point, if you're Johnson, you, you, you could have tried some punches there. But at this point, now that Moises is going belly down, he's in trouble. But this hook right here is big. He's also going to take the other leg that's doing the reaping and also hook around as well. But for Johnson, you have to turn sort of like in a back step direction in this direction to roll with the pressure on the knee right now. If you roll the other way, you're just going to tear your own knee. So at this point, there's only one way for Johnson to go to relieve pressure on his knee, but he can't backstep because this hook is in place. And Moises, not only does he have that one hook, he shoots his second leg through as well. So now at this point, without even knowing if the straight ankle lock is super tight, without even knowing if there's a lot of pressure on the ankle, by hipping in right here, Moises is putting a ton of pressure on Johnson's knee. He's keeping Johnson from rolling through or spinning through to be able to get that pressure off. So at this point, he's effectively just got a twisting knee lock at this point. And Johnson's stuck. There's really nowhere for him to go. We continue on, and we get the tap. So again, it's sort of hard to tell from this angle how extended Johnson's ankle was. Like I mentioned before, if you look down at your foot, just kind of straighten it out. You have like this 90 degree angle between your ankle uh, and then the foot and then your shin bone. If you try to extend it as much as possible, I mean, you might be able to get to like 120 degrees, maybe a, a little more, depending on how flexible you are. You're definitely not getting to 180 degrees. The idea of the straight ankle lock is to get it to 180 degrees. It's hard to tell what kind of angle Johnson's foot is at in this position. Um, but you can definitely tell that there's pressure on the knee. He can't turn with it. So at this point, it looks as though the tap was from the pressure on the knee. It wasn't necessarily the straight ankle lock. Um, but either way, it definitely wasn't a heel hook. So really cool finish. A lot of mistakes made by Johnson, though, that led to it.